For many parents, talking about LGBTQ plus issues with their children is difficult. One parent group in Upper Arlington is working to make those conversations a bit easier. 10 TV's Bryant Somerville spent the day with two families talking about understanding and acceptance. Happy, healthy, safe, alive. Everything else is just noise. It's why this mother wanted to sit down. Because people shouldn't be afraid to be who they are. And talk. People shouldn't have to walk around on eggshells everybody else just to be able to express themselves. Erin Bonnell says for her 10-year-old transgender daughter, it started early. Five, six years old, wanting to wear tutus, wanting to wear makeup. Harmless until it wasn't. It started becoming tantrums and meltdowns and talking about wanting to harm herself. She would call herself worthless, stupid. She went to counseling. Then an idea, Aaron says, began to grow organically that Willow identified as a girl. She's asked me, she, you know, after certain appointments or whatever, she's like, Mommy, do you wish I was still a boy? I'm like, I don't care. Are you happy? You healthy? You safe? You're alive? Then th you, you are what you are. You are what you are. A simple statement, a very complex understanding. I think the reason why that language is even happening and those opinions are happening is because of the binary that, that is there, that has been in humanity forever. Jillian Maruskin oh, is another mother. Beside her is Alex. It's really nice to know that there are people who see me. Alex is 15, going to be a sophomore at Upper Arlington High School in the fall. Alex identifies as a transgender male. I haven't been misgendered. Nobody's questioned my name. As far as they know, they just think, oh, that's Alex. They might have been born a girl, but they're Alex. They a person, a being who one day would like not to introduce himself as Alex the transgender, but Alex the boy who likes dogs and cats. People who we hang out with don't define us mm -hmm. as people. Mm -hmm. We're not just the kids who like to draw or the kids who play music or the kids who play sports or like, you know, anything else. We're all humans. Just this past weekend, Maruskin and Bonnell, two driving forces behind Rainbow UA, helped to put on a parade, a safe place specifically aimed at teens and young people also a voice. I think this is a huge step for Upper Arlington. Alex himself. Really happy that he says he knows not every LGBTQ youth walked his same path. In the world, there's hate, there's fear, but also there's hope. Hope to not need to be labeled. Hope to just be. I want her to be able to be proud of who she is. Hope that years from now, when Alex, when Willow are adults and parents themselves, they can continue to live happen. in a world happy, healthy, safe, and alive where everything else that's it is just noise in Upper Arlington, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News.